In this video, we're going to cover mid-backgrounds, a new feature that was added in version 2.2.1 of Bloxels. Make sure you grab version 2.2.1 before beginning this video. You can see I've already decorated my game just as I would before, but you'll notice there's a fourth new tab to the right of the configure tab. In order to add mid-backgrounds, we're going to click on this tab to enter mid-background mode. Just as we would with the art tab, we need to add characters and art down here so we can decorate our mid-backgrounds. I'm going to pull a couple of things from the asset pack library. Now that we have all of the art selected that we want to use, we can start working on our mid-background. This allows us to draw behind the blocks allowing you to add more believable underground sections, cave walls, castles, and anything else you can think of. To make sense of the mid-backgrounds, think of them as if they were layers. Your blocks are your front layer, the background is the back layer, and mid-backgrounds are the middle layer. For those of you who have used the white block trick we showed off in an earlier video, you'll be happy to know that with mid-backgrounds, you can fill in gaps where coins were, or where enemies used to be. This makes your background seem a lot more believable. You can also use mid-backgrounds in combination with the block types to create visual tricks, allowing you to pull off things such as one-way walls or dropping platforms. I'll cover how to recreate these tricks in a different video, but for now, we're going to wrap it up here. If you have any questions about mid-backgrounds, please leave them in the comments, and we'll do our best to answer them.